Hello everyone and welcome to the course. Uh, this is just a brief video that's uh, strictly about uh, assignments and uh, what I'd like you to do each week. What you need to do for the class, uh, there'll be an additional video in this section, a brief video that's thematic and actually describes the content of the course. What sort of things we'll be looking at, what sort of themes we'll be developing, but uh, it's pretty, uh, I wanted to make sure uh, that you had a clear idea of what the requirements are for this course. Um, here's the syllabus. Hopefully you can find it. Uh, if you have any questions ever, just, just email me or call me, and I'm sure I can help you with them. Questions about where to find things, questions about when assignments are due, just feel free. That's absolutely OK. Uh, that's me. Well, you'll get sick of looking at my face, Mr. Dan Tui. Um, and yeah, here's my contact information. It's at various places on the course website. Uh, feel free to contact me anytime, either on my cell or through the philosophy department or probably by, by email would be the best way to do it. Uh, I just want to make sure that you have an idea of just, you know, on an online course, what you need to do. Um, basically, you'll see under modules here uh, is where you really need to go. Uh, and you'll find all the materials there. Uh, we'll go there in a second. Uh, but basically, uh, every week follows the same sort of structure in terms of your... Um, why don't we go there now? Go to a typical module. Every module is numbered, uh, but it's, we're, the course is organized by week. So module one here... Um, Introductory Attitudes Towards Death is, is week one of the course. And you'll see that first under readings and multimedia, you have the actual material that you need to look at. Some of them are readings. Most of them are readings. Um, some of them are, are videos, brief videos, like this one here from Game of Thrones. And then the, the instructor video is always just me talking like this uh, about the material. Um, really something you should watch. Uh, not to toot my own horn. I'm not saying the videos are great, but why not watch them? You know, it, it's just me talking about the material, giving you my thoughts about it and suggestions about it, maybe some help reading some things that are more difficult. Okay, so that's really the most important thing is your materials, right? Looking at those things, giving those things a, a, a real thorough read. Take a look at the video. Uh, we have a discussion board. Uh, look at the syllabus uh, for the policies towards discussion. Basically, you know, you should you need to participate in the discussion board every week. And you should start posting as early in the week as possible. Um, you should have a post, which is basically you should create your own thread. It's not an absolute necessity. Don't worry about, you know, things like that. As long as you make a substantive post where you just post your thoughts, right? Uh, responding, uh, you know, to, to the week's materials. And then you should have two posts where you respond to somebody else's post. Pretty simple. And you see the deadline there is all the deadlines are Sunday evening, which we consider to be the end of the week uh, for an online class. It's pretty typical. Um, but really, you should just, you know, post as many times as you want. I mean, the idea is to get ideas going. And uh, that's good, talking to people. Well, there's a set of study questions for each uh, week's reading. Uh, like the um, discussion, uh, it's an ungraded assignment. It's basically a completion assignment. You do have to answer each question. There, there, there's three questions each week, I think, and so it's worth three points. Uh, so if you want to get full credit, you have to answer three questions. And, and there's no length requirement there. It's, it's rather informal, but you should give it a good try. It shouldn't just be writing random words down and not really giving it a try. If, you know, if I find that I'm not really happy with your answers, I'll let you know. Otherwise, uh, they are fine. But I, I will let you know if they don't meet my minimum requirements. Basically, you don't have to write an essay. You just have to have a short, you know, uh, response. But it has to be, an, you know, an honest attempt to uh, to respond to the question. Uh, and you'll have a weekly essay. This is an essay of about 500 words. And it's well, hopefully well described in the syllabus and elsewhere. But it, it's basically uh, an opinion paper and an argumentative paper. Uh, let's just take a look and see what we have here. Say for week one, where you're responding to uh, a general question that I've asked, right? Like for instance, this one's very very open ended. 
which basically says, you know, which one of the attitudes towards death and the in uh, the week one material did you find that corresponded most with your own beliefs or that you thought was uh, correct and why? Pretty simple, open-ended question. Uh, really, just an essay prompt, and you surely respond to that question however you see fit. So, uh, okay, um, got your discussion board, you've got study questions, you've got a weekly essay, and then finally we have the weekly live session. I have provisionally scheduled the weekly live session for Sunday evenings at 7 o'clock, uh, let's say about 45 minutes long, uh, each session maybe 7 to 7.45, in which we try to have a good discussion about what we've, we've looked at, and maybe I'll have some... Um, you know, some remarks from your work uh, on the uh, discussion board or your answers to study questions, which I'll put up in a PowerPoint and maybe ask you about. Uh, I'm assuming that if you have something in your in the discussion post or on the discussion boards or something that you have uh, written in response to study questions that you're okay with sharing it. And I would only put things up on a PowerPoint if I thought they were good. So it's really a compliment. Uh, that, again, that live session is, is a weekly live session through the whatever software they're using right now. I think it's called Zoom. We'll, we'll you know, we'll try to work out the the uh, bugs on that one. And uh, yeah, those so those are the four major assignments each week. They just get in the habit of doing it. You've got a discussion board uh, participation. You've got study questions you need to answer. Again, these are ungraded assignments. The weekly essay is a graded assignment. I put I put the guide to. Sort of a general guide I give the students on on essays. Uh, it's great on a five point scale, and you'll see that you know my my criteria are. Um, but that's the one weekly graded uh, thing. So it's uh, you know these are all completion assignments except for the uh, for the essay. So that's every week. It follows the same structure. It, it's pretty it's pretty simple. Um, they really encourage you these days to lay things out. And then uh, finally, we have a final exam, which will be the last week of class, which is, I think, July 2nd through the 6th, uh, which is a general final exam. Um, and what I'll ask you basic questions about what we've read, very open-ended questions. I'll give you like six or eight questions. You'll choose any three to answer. Uh, and that's something you should really not worry about until the end of the semester. You should just think about reading and uh, writing and learning and getting ideas. It's not maybe the cheeriest topic in the world, but it certainly is one of the most interesting.